Hi everybody, it's Adam here, uh, recording a video tutorial for the week 11 eTivity and uh, this is to guide you through the peer review process um, of the questionnaires that were developed as part of um, week 10. So what I'd like you to do is go into Leo and go into the week 11 uh, module and scroll down to the eTivity and of course the first thing you'll want to do is actually read through the eTivity and you'll see it's quite a simple one. So there are two activities, the peer review and a response to the place of technology um, in creativity and imagination. But assuming that you've read through uh, the week 11 eTivity, what I'd like you to do then is click onto the questionnaire trial run Dropbox. So you actually visited this part um, last week, but what you're going to be doing now is actually reviewing, blind reviewing two questionnaires. So it was going to be five, but that would take too long. So blind reviewing two questionnaires um, to give some feedback. You'll notice that when you've actually logged in that you've got um, on the left hand, just sort of um, underneath the, the green box, you've got an area that says assign submissions to assess. And there'll be two options in there. There'll be no name, so it's completely blind review. So unless you have put your name and your student number onto your actual questionnaire, nobody will be able to know um, whose paper they're reviewing. And what I'd like you to do is click on to um, the first pink assess button. And what you'll see is up at the top under questionnaire, it'll say, it'll give the actual document that's been submitted. So obviously you'll need to open that up to review the questionnaire that has been um, put there for review. Then I'd like you to think about the five areas. So um, the format of the questionnaire, the depth and relevance of the questions, the applicability of the scales and indicators, the use of technology and the longitudinal um, viability. And I'd like you to think about these five areas in terms of one positive insight that you can write about the questionnaire and one recommendation um, to improve the questionnaire. When you then scroll down, you'll see that each of those, so format, questions, scales and indicators, technology and longitudinal viability are addressed under aspects one, two, three, four and five. And in the comment box, you can actually put your two, your two comments. So um, a positive insight about the questionnaire as it exists at the moment and a recommendation for improvement. And when you've done that, you don't need to put anything into the overall um, feedback box unless you feel that you really want to. Um, go down and click on save and show next. Okay, and what that will do is submit the um, feedback back to the person who um, posted the questionnaire and then you can move on to the second of your um, your two reviews. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, please let me know in the discussion forum.